Welcome to ASCT, the Neurodiagnostic Society. You may be saying the what society? You may not be familiar with the term neurodiagnostics, but there are thousands of people enjoying the challenging and financially rewarding allied health career of neurodiagnostics. With the changing demographics in the United States, a career in healthcare is a great choice for young people, veterans, or even someone just wanting to make a midlife career change. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics described neurodiagnostic technology as a bright outlook profession with a much faster than average projected growth. So what exactly is neurodiagnostics? Neurodiagnostics is the analysis and monitoring of the nervous system function of patients in order to help physicians decide and perform effective treatment of neurological diseases and conditions, such as epilepsy, seizure disorders, or even blurred vision and hearing loss. The career field is currently exploding in the neurodiagnostic technology field. There have been so many advances and so much more information coming across with diseases such as Parkinson's, uh, traumatic brain injury from concussions, things like Alzheimer's, um, advances in the pharmacology that has to deal with epilepsy. These are all big fields that are under great expansion and so that just increases the need for the techs at the bedside. Neurodiagnostic technologists work with physicians, particularly neurologists, neurosurgeons, and orthopedic surgeons, as well as nurses and other healthcare professionals. The work is typically in the hospital setting, although you could work in a clinic or a lab, as a traveling or a contract technologist, in a teaching or research environment, or even run your own neurodiagnostic company. It's a career that's wide open and can lead to many opportunities. And there are accredited schools across the country and online that offer the education and training you'll need to become a neurodiagnostic technologist. Currently, most of the schools are associated with two-year colleges, with a few located within hospitals or vocational schools. Bachelor's degrees in neurodiagnostics are beginning to be offered at four-year institutions. The current career opportunities for neurodiagnostic technologists is wide open. We see that as a positive. We really want to encourage people because this is a rapidly expanding field and a great career opportunity for anybody that's looking for a full-time position that's really exciting in the medical field. With neurodiagnostics also, you can work with all populations from pediatrics to geriatrics, whatever your passion is. The demand for neurodiagnostic techs are, is incredible right now. This is the time to get into neurodiagnostics. The future of neurodiagnostics is growing exponentially. We are at the forefront of a lot of research being done. We're only going to grow as technology increases. How do you know if you'd like neurodiagnostics? Well, if you like science and technology and you like working with people, neurodiagnostics could be the perfect career choice for you. I definitely came from a love of science in general. I loved anatomy and physiology. And I think that somebody who loves this career would probably start with a desire to learn more it's cool because I come home every day with like a different knowledge of the human body. Um, my friends ask me kind of like what we're learning. Um, right now we're learning about like different impedances, um, voltage, amps, um, Ohm's law, which two weeks ago, like you asked me that and I would have no idea. So it's really interesting. Can you imagine I'm looking at a person through the screen and I, all of a sudden, I can see seizure pattern. But this person does not notice anything. She's not aware that this seizure is happening right now in her brain. I mean, how fascinating it is that certain things so crucial and such dramatic importance for us, and we don't even notice them. And what EEG does, it provides us the window into our own brain. The training that a student gets in this field is multifaceted. We work a lot with students to get them to learn how to do the tasks that are involved, but we're also working to teach them about the disease processes and the physiology behind every type of patient that they would possibly see. That's coupled with the clinical experiences at the bedside. So this is a fast-paced, really interesting field to be in because we're covering everything from the diagnosis to the clinical aspects of every kind of patient that they might see. So far, my trainings included classroom work time along with 
clinical site training where I'm working with a registered tech in the field. So there's different levels of training. Some programs are nine months, some are a year long, and some are two years long. And depending on the length, depends on what you graduate with, a certificate or an associate degree. There are also many areas within the neurodiagnostic technology field in which you can specialize and become registered or certified. Registration and certification increase your earning potential and long-term job security. For example, you may want to obtain your registry in administering the electroencephalogram, or EEG as it's commonly known. This test is critical in determining factors regarding head injury or epilepsy. You may want to specialize in intraoperative neuromonitoring, where the EEG and other neurodiagnostic tests are performed in the operating room to provide the surgeon with important information about the patient's neurological function throughout the surgery. There are many areas of specialization for you to also consider, including working with neonatal, pediatric or adult patients, in epilepsy monitoring or intensive care units. You may be asking, what basic qualifications do I need to become a neurodiagnostic technologist? You'll need an inquiring, curious mind, above average intelligence, and a willingness to engage in lifelong learning. You'll need tact, patience, and compassion to work with patients. And good manual dexterity and the capacity to deal with visual, electrical, and computer concepts are also important skills to have. What makes a good neurodiagnostic technology student is a person who has good social skills, good communication skills. They can talk with their patients and make their patients feel comfortable within seconds. They can help and understand what the patients are trying to say and help them to feel at ease. We also want students that are interested in science and curious to learn more about how the brain works with the body and what it can do. When I'm advising students about the neurodiagnostic technology field and if this is the right career choice for them, we start talking about what their interests are and what their passions are. They're all coming into the field because they have some need or some want to take care of people and to help people. That has to be coupled with the idea that they're willing to work with technology because that's such a large part of their job. Also, the idea of collaborating with a whole healthcare team is just as important as the rest of it. I think to succeed in neurodiagnostics, the most important thing is a love for people. You're there to help the patient, and if you have a strong desire to help people improve their lives or help them even with just a certain situation, that's the most important thing. You, you have to be a people person for this career. I would advise people that are considering a career in neurodiagnostic technology to um, do some research. Visit asset.org. Um, there's a ton of information out there. And also just um, getting some hands-on experience with shadowing in the hospitals. Um, I know that the technologists are passionate about their career and they love to share with you. And so you can really see firsthand what, what's out there. Well, there you have it the basic information you need to get started in your career as a neurodiagnostic technologist. Neurodiagnostic technology is a vitally important healthcare career with the kind of variety you may be seeking, along with the financial opportunities you may need. To find out more, you can go to our website at aset.org to locate the school closest to you or find a distance learning program, information about scholarships and tuition grants, and other interesting features for those considering a challenging career in neurodiagnostic technology. Let us help you get started today on your new career in neurodiagnostic technology.